In this next video tutorial, we're going to show you some of the features that we've added uh, for the 3D editor as they relate to projects we bring in from a planner project only. Okay, One of the features that we've added is the ability to bring in a, a structure, uh, the house shell, and also to add a roof onto that. Now, if you create a project and your project does not have a roof on it here, you'll want to go back over to planner. You'll want to make sure that you have a a solid foundation wall that goes all the way around your house and also have a roof applied to it using the roof draw roof tool. Okay, so let me jump back over to 3D Editor. Now we can also change the height of the walls here. Now you'll see here that it, it's a very tall wall in respect to the to the landscape around it. Now the way that we can change the height here of the wall is we can go over here to the workspace in the properties tab you'll see here we have change house shell height. I simply click on the arrow down and that changes it to a more realistic height. Okay. Another feature that we have here is if we want to change the color of the the walls here and also the roof color up on the toolbar there is a change default roof texture change house shell color icon. I'm just going to click on that Okay, and then I can just select a different roof texture. Okay, so I'll just select one. And then if I want to change the color, I can come down here and click on the drop down and I can select a new color. If I need to select other colors, I can click on more colors. And I'm just going to select a, a light gray color there and click OK. And then OK here. And it changes both the roof color and the wall color. Okay, something else that we can do here is we can add doors and windows to this foundation wall. Okay, and the way we do that is we come down here to the Content Explorer and we go over to the Miscellaneous tab. Now I need to select the selector here on the far left side and I need to go into Building Material. Okay, let me go ahead and rotate this around so we have a straight on view. Okay, and I want to add a front door, so I'm just going to select one of the doors that we have here. Okay, I'll just drag the door up to the project like so. Okay, now I'm going to move that back a little bit, and I'll, sh I'll just shrink it down using the yellow arrows. Okay, and I'm flattening that out when I'm touching that arrow there. Now you'll see here when I rotate that around that door rotates with my camera movement. Okay, And you'll also see that if I zoom out it's, it's uh, a convex shape there and I want it to be a flat shape. So with the door selected I'll go over here to my workspace in the properties tab and there's a render type. This is a render type for the object that I have selected here. I want to change that to wall. Okay, and you'll see here what it does is it flattens that out. And what I can do is I can grab the yellow points there and I can make it just a flat image of that door so it looks more like a door now. Okay, and I'm just going to go over and position it in place like so shrink it down to an appropriate size okay and then I'll just push it back until it starts to disappear so I know it's behind the wall there I just pull it up a little bit drop it right there okay so now when I rotate that that appears to be on the actual wall of the home like so okay doors we do or I'm sorry windows we do exactly the same way except we go down to the miscellaneous tab and we have a category called windows. I'll go to the window that I want and I'll just select this double hung. I'll drag and drop it in place. Okay, I just need to scale it down to size. Like so, and then I'm just going to push that back to flatten it out a little bit. And then I, again, I need to change that render type to a wall. And we'll just make it a flat image like so. OK, 
okay and then we position it again we we push it back until it just, it just disappears and then we pull it out just a little bit so that it reappears now if I want to change the elevation of this object what we can do is we can if we click on it we can press the sh the control key on the keyboard and that allows us to change the elevation of that object okay it looks like I squished it a little too much there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out and again I'll just change the elevation just like that okay Okay. now if I want to bring another one in I would do the same exact thing go over change it to a wall flatten it out squish it down so that it uh, just reappears uh, after I've pushed it through that wall and again to change the elevation on that window I simply hold down the control key that allows me to elevate it and then I release the control and I move it I can move it from side to side or forward and back like so okay just like that Okay, and that's how we add doors and windows, and we change the, the house color and, uh, and the roof texture on a planner 3D project.